guys, Alison Montes here, and today I want to tell you about a product that I have not been able to live without for the past year, and that's my Nady wireless system. My favorite feature about this unit is this tiny little bug here that transmits all of my signal. Now, there's a few reasons why, as a violinist, I really prefer this style of wireless unit. First of all, with an acoustic violin, when you have a traditional wireless unit that has the big pack and the cable, where do you put it? You know, I mean, I see some girls stuff it here, I've stuffed it down the back of my shirt, stuff it to my boobs, I've taped it here, and quite often, I forget it's there, I go to put down my violin, you know, and the next thing I know, I'm topless. I know, not a bad thing for some people, but it doesn't really look professional for me. So with this, just pop it right in, and I'm good to go. Don't have to worry about losing my clothes, ripping this thing out of my violin and ruining the jack, you know, scraping up my violin by screwing this up because it gets yanked out. It's a simple little, easy to use transmitter. Now for my Viper violins, as most of you know, in Rookie Rebel I do all sorts of cool tricks. And what can be difficult about that with a larger wireless transmitter is that I was putting it on my back, right in the middle where the strap went. And not only does that get caught on him when we're doing dips and flips and all of that, but um, you're moving around so much that the attaching cable kept coming undone. The jack kept getting looser and looser, I started feeding back, all these horrible screeching sounds happened, I was cut in the middle of a solo once, and I just thought, you know what, I can't do this anymore. You know, I mean, I, I like my wireless, but, you know, I need something better. Something better for me. And that's why I went up and picked up a needy wireless unit last year at NAMM. Now, I also really like the receiver for a couple of reasons as well. One of them is that at a lot of my gigs, I can't find an electrical outlet, especially if I'm just going to play acoustic violin for a DJ set or in a club or something like that. So for the um, receiver here, there's two ways to power it. First of all, you have your standard power adapter outlet, but then, can't open it, you also have a place for two AA batteries. So, as long as you're smarter than me and remember either your adapter or your batteries, you're good to go. And then all you gotta do is flip on the power switch, look at the handy lights to see where your battery's at, and adjust your volume as needed. Now I've been using this for the past year. My gear gets beat up. I get knocked around, I'm slammed into stripper poles, I'm falling over stuff. I am not very graceful. And this thing has held up very well. You know, through um, dropping my pedal board down escalators and having other people drop it, all sorts of stuff. So I highly recommend this unit. Um, it's durable, it's affordable, and it makes a huge difference in the freedom you'll have as a violinist with a wireless system. This unit has been really great for me. It's been a lifesaver and it's given me so much freedom to do all sorts of really cool things like this. I wanna dance, I wanna do my show from Japan to France I have the same dream, I have the same dream That I had as a little child At least they don't stop, but I won't stop Because I can't stop, till I reach the top, top When you believe it, you will achieve it Anything is possible You're the
Be sure to check out Navy on their website, navy.com. Let me know in the comments below what kind of wireless system you use and why. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't drop her.